Hi everyone, who's here? Thanks for stopping by. So I've sort of got a completion review today and I've also got a parcel, yay! Okay, uh, the completion and the parcel have both been sent to me by the wonderful people at diamondartgift.com um, They asked me if I would like some more products to show you and I said yes because I've loved all the others that I've had. Uh, at the moment on their website, if you add four items to your basket, you will only pay for three, which is wonderful. And there is 70% off shipping. So go and check out the website, diamondartgift.com. As I always say, if you're watching this a couple of months after I've made the video, then just double check what orders are relevant at the moment and what applies to your country. Okay, so um, a little bit of a story. Uh, this completion that I did, it was a 30 by 40 and I did it for my 30 by 40 DP along. Uh, I will put a picture of it in the frame as well. has actually gone to uh, my nephew as a present for his birthday and um, it was one of his big birthdays so uh, he's, he's, he's a Hull City fan, Hull City AFC, Hull City Tigers are the um, main football team for the city of Hull which is the big city next to where I live, where I was born and brought up so yeah that is our family's uh, football team and I got this from Diamond Art Gift in January so there is an unboxing of it uh, in January and I was going to do a video of it and then I thought oh no I won't do the video because I don't want him to see it because I know um, my nephew and his partner do tend to watch my videos and I didn't want to spoil the surprise and then of course the day that came to give him it and I suddenly thought I should have filmed the completion and then put it on YouTube after I'd given him it uh, but yeah, silly me, got my brain all muddled and didn't do that, so I've given him it. So now I don't actually have um, the pa painting to show you. But all I can say is it was wonderful. Um, it was a lot of white background and a lot of orange background, but there were a lot of different colours. There was 13. You wouldn't expect there to be 13 colours in that, but there was. Uh, this is the little, so if you imagine that this is on the painting and it's a 30 by 40. <laughs> There was uh, very little trash, maybe an odd one or two, but nothing to speak of. Um, plenty of drills left over. They are round, so I'm not going to do a kitting down on this one. Um, they are all round drills. Lovely colours, they were nice, they're lovely and sparkly. All went down beautifully, good sticky canvas. No problems whatsoever, really enjoyed doing it. Did it in a couple of nights. What I tend to do with, um, as I've said before, with a painting that has a background is I did all of the background first then I did all of the middle which was actually several different colours rather than just the one colour so I tend to the what the pots that are the fullest I tend to do all those first and then I do all the smaller colours next sometimes I uh, section them off and do them a section at a time but uh, at the moment, I'm quite enjoying doing canvases that have got big blocks of colour and doing that bit first and then filling in. And to me, it's a little bit like doing a jigsaw, you know, where you just put in the last pieces in and I get real enjoyment of just putting the final drill on. <laughs> My nephew absolutely loved it. It will be going in his office. He was really, really pleased. And I just put a plain black frame um, around the edge and he say he will just be hanging it on his wall so yeah I thought you might like to see that one first but we've got some new goodies to look at now as well yay sorry it's cheating just showing you a photograph of it but I thought it's better than me sat here saying well I did do this picture but I've not got it now so I printed out a picture I'll probably use this for uh, his birthday card next year <laughs> He's probably watching this now, so uh, hopefully he'll have forgotten by next year. Okay. <laughs> okay, so a huge thank you, diamondartgift.com, for sending me these. And we have a diamond painting and another diamond painting and another diamond painting. Yay! Okay. So what shall we look at first? Let's look at this one. It's the nearest one to us. Uh, 
all three of these diamond paintings are $4.99 each on the website at the moment. So this one is a special drill and uh, yeah, it's one of the new ones that has just arrived on the website at the moment. And it is a letter, but it's a special drill letter. So I thought, yay, like that idea. Okay, now because they're so pretty and they are quite quick to do, I am thinking that I might actually get um, the word C A C R A F T and get craft and put that on the wall in my craft room in diamond painting letters. Um, for this one, I thought, oh, I'll just get an L, just be boring and get my own initial. Well, really, my name is Elizabeth, so it should be E. But I thought, oh, well, if I get an L, I can always give it to uh, somebody else as well. I've got other people and friends that have uh, names beginning with L. Uh, but I just thought it was really pretty. They have got the full letters of the alphabet, which is great. I know sometimes when you go on um, these sites, they have sort of odd letters in different designs, but they don't always have the full alphabet. Whereas in these special drill ones at the moment, they do have the full alphabet. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have that. Special drills, alphabet, yeah, definitely having that one. And hopefully we might have some hot pink on this as well, but we'll just have to see. Uh, it's 14 different gems and colours. says it's 30 by 30, but I think we'll probably be about a 25. So it will fit nicely into your uh, magnetic photo, your magnetic picture frames. So, oh, it's actually a 24 centimetre, which is about nine and a half-ish inches by yep, 24 which is nine and a half ish inches so you know it, it will fit us in those magnetic frames really really well so you can switch it out i did think i might get an liz and then i thought oh is that a bit pretentious putting my name on the wall mm, maybe but uh, i don't quite like the idea of having craf yeah craft can't spell this morning my brain's just not with me at all <laughs> So we've got our basic toolkit, a pen, board and wax. And then look at all these special drills. Oh, and I think I do spy possibly a hot pink. So let's have a look and see what we got. Sparkle, sparkle. Ooh, lots of them, lots of them. Well, 14 of them actually. <laughs> okay, so we've got a lovely honey gold. And then a nice bright orange and a very pale pink and we have a hot pink yay hot pink hot pink it has to be a hot pink for a liz and a lovely aqua blue there and a, oh a very jady green love that oh and we've got an ab as well wow so we have the green with the ab coating the uh, iridescent coating uh, that's aurora borealis it's like a northern lights effect coating that they put on the drill and it just makes it sparkle a little bit more and then we've got another gold there a lemony gold and we've got some white uh, non-faceted rounds there very shiny and some oh like orangey fire red um, larger rounds some little teardrops in like a champagne gold some marquees with an iridescent coating on just silver and then some green markings. I think they've got an iridescent coating as well. Yeah, we've definitely got an iridescent, sorry, an oil and water effect -ish there. And then, oh, some very uh, long, thin blue markings with an iridescent coating on. So there is going to be lots of pretty colours on that one, like that one. Yay, so $4.99. So, yeah, for, I mean, for sort of, what's it going to cost me? $25. Um, but actually, there's the buy four, get one free. So it would be $20 to write craft on my wall. Mm, that sounds like a bargain. Very good. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. Right, so let me have a look. Ooh, I can see birds. I can see lots of birds. We like birds. So this one is a 30 by 30 again but this is a nice little wreath 
and you know how much I like my wreaths and you know how much I like my birds. So I thought, oh, as soon as I saw this, I've just got to get it. And um, one of my favourite things to do, special drill wreaths. Uh, it is on a canvas, obviously. Um, it's on a white background, but to be honest, I'm finding that if I put ones on white backgrounds in the magnetic frames, then it actually doesn't look as though it's got a white background. It looks like it's just like the frame as such and it all matches in. So I'm quite liking doing these. Uh, it's a little bit more um, fiddly to cut out this one. Some of the ones, if you remember that I did at Christmas, I did cut the round out, the wreath out, um, and just use that, you know, put it on mount board or on foam board and uh, use that as the picture. But this one, obviously, it's got a little bit more fiddly bits. So I will leave you... I will leave this one and it will just go in a frame, but I think it's very pretty. So we've got, I think this is a bullfinch, is it? That looks a little bit like a kingfisher. That's a great tip because he's got a black stripe down his front. This looks like a house sparrow. Uh, not quite sure about that one. It looks a little bit like a parroty type beak, that one. It might be another finchy type thing. But I'm not sure on that one. And I'm not sure on these, but that one again is either a blue tit or a great tit. Um, or a curl tit. There's all sorts of different ones. But very pretty and lots of berries and things. And I thought, oh yeah, just like that one. You know me, I do like my wreaths. So this one's 18 different gems and colours. Oh, sparkle, sparkle. We've got our standard toolkit again. Pen, butt and wax. And let's have a look at these. Oh, 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 we've got extras there, so let's have a look. <clears throat> Excuse me, froggy me throat. Just had a quick slurp of tea there, uh, just to clear my throat a little bit. Ooh. Mm. Oh, just got a little bit of sticky there, not quite sure what that is, but never mind. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> so one, two and three are these lovely long um, marquees again. But these are in your gold colour. I've had quite a few of those on sunflowers and things that I've done. Ooh, lots of those. Look, they're going to be the berries, I think, which are all around here. And they are like a half sphere. There's no facets on them. And then we've got blue ones again uh, with no facets on. So I think they're all like the blueberries down here. So we've got like red berries up here and here and the blueberries down here. Okay. Very nice. And then our standard gems. We have a very orangey red colour and a nice blue colour there. And a lovely, oh, that's a nice bright green. Very nice. And then like, that's like a dark grey. It's not black. It's like a dark grey with a silver backing. Yeah, a standard crystal, very sparkly. Some standard 310 black there. A little bit of, that's got a little bit, it's, it's brown, but it's like a pinky tinge to it as well. And then a nice sunny yellow colour. So they're matching with your uh, marquees there, your long marquees. Okay. And then some more specials. We have some large faceted teardrops there, silver. Ooh, one oval shaped red. Only one. Whoa. No spares, but never mind. So that one looks like... Number five is E, so that's going to go on this bed here. So he's got a very uh, marked front here. Oh, he's going to stand out, isn't he, with that size uh, drill on him. Oh, and then some very large amber uh, teardrops there, slightly elongated teardrops. And then some marquees in that colour, in the uh, goldy colour there. Oh, so where did the large ones go? I think we can probably see. I think they're here, look, around here. And then number six is, yep, yeah, they're going to be... Uh, oh, where do they go? Oh, they're at F. I think they're on the bird's cheeks here. Couldn't quite read what the symbol said, but it's... They've put the... <laughs> look, I'm easily confused. They've put the symbol sideways on look can you see there and I'm thinking that that was sort of like some sort of symbol and it's actually an F on its side <laughs> oh 
do you look don't do this to me don't confuse me so i'm looking around for this strange looking symbol thinking well i can't see any and then it suddenly dawned on me that it's an f <laughs> oh dear look just just yeah don't confuse me i'm far too easily confused all right let me put these drills away and we'll have a look at the next one <laughs> Okay, so the final one again, four ninety nine. But this one is a full drill. Let me find out where I get into it. Oh come on, don't be confusing. I've already had one confusion this morning. I can't be doing with another one. There it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. And uh, yeah, extra points if you can guess why I ordered this one. <laughs> I'll open it this way to start off with. Oh. And it's come pre-bagged excellent okay so pen boat and wax your standard dog get there so yeah we've got them all in little grip seal bags already so this one's kitted itself up excellent we like that oh look at those colors very nice okay and it is look look what it is <laughs> Uh, I've not seen this one before, so I thought, oh, well, we're just going to have to get this one. It just might be this little Scotty dog sat here. And that's a definite Millie watching. Uh, it's a little bit like Thomas. He's a similar colour to that. Uh, but unfortunately, Thomas doesn't have a tail. That's the little um, deaf and uh, silent cat that we have living around us. So let me give it a bit of a flat melt. I just thought, oh, well, I've got to have that. That's got to go on my generic Scotty wall. I have two Scotty walls in my craft room. One has uh, custom pictures of my little woofs. And the other wall is just general other Scotties and Scotty pictures that I have. So, yeah, I've just recently done a two new ones to add to my generic wall. So I've got some more customs to do. Um of uh, Millie Moo, our own little Scotty dog. So we've got a little Jack Russell here, which, uh, yeah, I mean, they don't look as though they're terrorising that kitten, do they? They just look like they come on down to play. We just want to play. You see, the trouble is cats tend to run, dogs chase. It's just instinct. Um, but when Millie catches up to a cat, she just sits and looks at it as if to say, oh, now what do we do? You know, she, she's not vicious. She doesn't attack them. She just wants to play. Everything she just wants to play with. Right, uh, apart from balloons, she doesn't do balloons. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, 23 different colours. They're all capital letters, which is wonderful. And we do have DMC codes. So it's a 30 by 40. And let's give it a quick measure. So we are 25-ish centimetres by nine and three which is nine and three quarter inches by oh dear liz you've said this enough to know what to say <laughs> uh and it, it oh actually it is yeah just about 35 and a half ish centimeters so it's a little bit over 35 centimeters which is 13 and a half inches okay but yeah, I just think it's a nice fresh spring picture. The leaves are just starting to come up and the grass is just starting to grow. And we've got a blue sky in the background. And uh, Millie has a bit more of a beard. She's got a bit more Scotty um, features on her, but not everybody likes to have the full beard. Um, you know, Scotty's, that is sort of their head shape if you cut them a little bit closer. Right, let's have a look at these colours. Well, uh, just I should think they're in number order, so I'll try and keep them in number order. Okay, look, we're definitely on Let's Trick List today. Where's the opening for this then? There it is. Look, right along the edge. Just let me get into these. Oh, we start at number four, so we're not quite in that number order so we'll put them in number order and put them back into the packet so what did i say we had we have 23 different colors okay so 23 
23 is a beige, 22 is a nice brown, and 21, oh, is a lovely sunny yellow. 20 is, oh, an even brighter yellow, a lot more of a mustard yellow. 19 is a gorgeous fresh green. Uh, where's number 18? 18 is, that's 3756, so it's actually got the number on it. Uh, and we do have the DMC codes on the bags as well. So that's good. As I say, it's kitted itself up this one like that. I've got a dark brown for number 17. 16 is another chestnutty brown. And 15 is another shade of brown. So we're going to get some good shading on this one. And let me look where it's 15, 15, 15. That's number five. So we don't want that one. Oh, we've got 15. We're looking for 14. Liz. <laughs> So that's like a tinned pea green colour. Uh, 13 is a very bright orange colour. Oh, that would be nice. 12 is like a beigey caramel chocolate colour. 11 is an orangey red. 10 is a very pale lemon. And where's number 9? Is another beigey colour. Eight is a nice fresh grass. So the greens are really, really vibrant on this one. Seven is like a raspberry sort of rusty colour there. Six is another brown colour. Five is another green, a muted green. Four is a lovely blue. Three is your 310 black. Two, another green colour and blue, a nice blue pale blue for your sky so very good colour palette now then I'll do this in a couple of bits because I know me I'll put them in the packet and drop them all so <laughs> we don't want that we'll try and keep them in order okay put these put back in here right so lovely little haul from diamond art gift thank you ever so much for sending me them we've had our scotty dog with our jack russell and our little kitten we've got our gorgeous wreath of birds there with all the berries and then our l so yeah um two special drills and one full drill oh, love that green i love that green Okay, well, don't forget to pop along to diamondartgift.com um, and get that free canvas if you put four into your basket and your deal on shipping as well. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you would like to come back and join our little family and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.